Hi, I'm Zach of Josh's Frogs, and today we're going to talk about vivarium or terrarium lighting. We're not going to discuss heat lighting or, any, or UV lighting, but this is going to focus just on the ambient lighting for the wellness of your animals and any plants you have growing in your vivarium. First one we'll talk about are the Saturn line of fixtures that Josh carries. These are very similar to your shop lights and basically take your standard T12 bulb. Another one he carries is the Nova which consists of your standard 55 or 65 watt 4 pin compact fluorescent. The more popular line are these Pioneer line of fixtures. These come with a fixture with a full reflector and depending on the model 2 to 4 T5 high output bulbs which as far as lighting produced you're going to get more bang for your buck. Compared to some of these other fixtures these produce very little heat and have a very high light output so it's great for bromeliad growth keeping those nice reds and oranges fired up on your bromeliads, orchids, and also taller tanks where you're trying to get light penetrating far to the bottom. I've personally used one of these fixtures on a three foot tall tank and be able to grow some of the lower to medium light plants on the, on the bottom floor of the tank without any issues whatsoever. Another popular choice for vivarium or terrarium lighting are the compact fluorescent bulbs. The little screw in compact fluorescent bulbs like you see sold as um, energy efficient alternatives to incandescent fixtures. These work really well. Many people actually prefer to use the Exoterra UVB compact fluorescent bulbs like we're discussed in another video, or the 6500K rated daylight bulbs that can be purchased at places such as Walmart or so. Generally these come in a 13 or 26 watt. I'd prefer the 26 watt ones because they're brighter. They work well in just the standard clamp lamp type fixtures, and they also work well in the different Exoterra hood fixtures. The 12 inch having one fixture, the 18 inch having two fixtures, the 24 inch having three fixtures, and the 36 inch having room for four bulbs. Regardless of the lighting option you choose to light your vivarium or terrarium, it is important to provide an adequate photo period for its inhabitants. This can range from a 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness for animals that occur along the equator to an from 10 hours during the winter to 14 hours during the summer of light for animals that occur far away from the equator, such as bearded dragons from Australia. The easiest and most convenient way to provide the proper photo period for your animal are through the use of mechanical or digital timers. Josh carries a variety of timers, such as basic digital timers and power strips that have constant on or off outlets, as well as outlets that are activated by a timer. This ensures that your lights function at the proper photo period for your animal, electricity isn't wasted, and your lighting schedule is consistent, which is healthier for the animal in turn. For any questions, comments, or to purchase any of the products you've seen on the video today, please visit www.joshesfrogs.com for all your herb needs.